So I'm sitting here wondering what to cook for lunch because I'm feeding for something quick and easy and something real creamy to just taste in my mouth. And I'm like, so what I have in my kitchen that I could come up with something real creamy, real quick and real delicious. So I have all the ingredients. So this is what we're going to do. We not, we go, I was thinking about some um, chicken alfredo, but then um, I have no fettuccine. I have linguine. So I'm going to use some linguine. I have some chicken breast. I'm going to use that. I have a parmesan roasted garlic um, sauce. So I'm going to use that. And I have an onion and I have some pimentos that I pick on my tree. So we're going to use that. So let's get cracking in the kitchen and let's put those ingredients together and come up with a real quick and easy meal. Let's see how this meal comes out. Let's go. Again, the ingredients, pimento, butter, onion, cheese, milk, linguine and chicken. To my preheating pan, I'm adding my infused thyme oil and I am going to cook my chicken till tender. Then, in the meantime, I am going to start preparing my linguine. While my linguine is cooking, I'm going to cook the chicken. Once the chicken is cooked till tender, I'm going to remove it and then add two tablespoons of butter. And then I'm going to add my onion and pimento. You can use as much as you prefer. And once my linguine is cooked, you could use fettuccine. I'm using linguine. I'm using what I have. This is what this recipe is about, what I have in my kitchen at the moment. And we're going to add it. Then we're going to add our roasted garlic parmesan sauce. And once that has been added and come to a boil, we're going to add our cooked linguine. And then we're going to add back in our pre-cooked chicken. Mix everything in and... We're going to have this meanwhile on low, so I have some herbs in the fridge, some saib and some parsley. And I'm going to also add some freshly grind black pepper to that. So I've added my parsley and my freshly grind black pepper. No salt because the cheese has salt, the butter has salt. So once all of that is in, added to the pot, I'm going to mix everything. Then I am going to add my cheese. So we're using 200 grams in, grams in total for this recipe. So I'm using half of that at this point, mix everything in, and then we're going to add the other part when we are going to garnish the rest. So now I'm going to use some pepper flakes and some oregano and parsley. I'm going to sprinkle that over my very hot pasta. And then I am going to start to add the remainder of the cheese on that. And that is how easily I use the ingredients that I have at that point in time to create something that was so delicious. I know it is not the Alfredo that you know we know of because you wouldn't use fed linguine but fettuccine for this recipe. But this is what I had at the time and this is what I was feeling for and this is what I made. Thanks for watching and don't forget the link for the infused oil. It will be in the cards above. And you're ready for the Easter weekend. This morning I want to make some buns.